Welcome back to my September Plan With Me video. I know it's been a month late, but I still wanted to post it since it could work for any autumn. Or actually, any month. It could work for any month. But first, let's go through the flip through of my August setup, which was a disco ball theme. And it was actually, I think, my favorite theme I've done so far. It's so colorful and vibrant, and I'm very happy with how that turned out. This month for September, I am also moving into a new bullet journal. It is called, well, not officially called, but it's called The Drip from Archer and Olive. It is shiny on the outside and it looks like a drip down galaxy. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started with the actual theme, which is a picnic coffee and cookies theme. Don't ask me how that works, but it works. <laughs> I am starting off with a brown tombow, coloring in the coffee inside of the coffee mug. I am going vertically, making sure that the lines flow nicely. When the coffee cup is filled, I am starting to add flowers with the pink Tombow, making them a bit messy and overlap at some places of the sketch to ensure depth. Then I also go in with this really pretty blue color if you recreate this and you just want to use one color, that would be really pretty as well. Or just beige ones, so it's all like monochrome, that would be great as well. For the cookie, I am using a beige Tombow brush pen. I am scribbling down the color so it looks like the actual texture of a chocolate chip cookie. in the chips for the chocolate chip cookies and that's about it to add some final details i am grabbing the beige color again and i'm layering it down so i can create shadows that are casted by the flowers on top of it i'm also adding a shadow to the coffee cup i'm doing that by adding a darker color to the coffee and a light gray to the cup itself on the places where the light shouldn't hit it. some leaves. While I'm letting the ink dry for the Tombow so I can start outlining, I am outlining the title. This to me is always very satisfying to watch, so enjoy. some 
magic, the title is Colored In. Now everything has had the time to dry, I am going in with a 0.2 fine liner over every outline. I'm doing this as loose as possible to emphasize the sketchy feeling. This cover page also took me the shortest ever. It was amazing. It was so fun to do and very relaxing. With another bit of editing magic, the cover page has been cut out and I can start on the back page. I'm adding some loose flowers. And of course a cookie. and back page of course this gives it so much more depth and finally i'm adding some leaves with the fine liner i also want to quickly talk about the journal that i'm using i'm working in the drip journal from archer and olive it's really pretty super shiny and i love the details on it and if you want to have a journal like this as well i do have an affiliate code use amber's notebooks 10 for 10 percent off your entire purchase with which you can save some money and help me out as well for the background i wanted to create a picnic blanket feeling I was thinking plaid. However, when I had finished the vertical lines, I actually really liked it a lot and I didn't want to take away from the drawings in the front, so I left it at this, which has been a very good decision. To finalize the page, I am drawing some coffee beans with a darker brown color and voila! <laughs> the monthly calendar. I am starting off with drawing the swatches at the right bottom of the page using the three beige colors. On the left side for the drawing, everything starts again. It really speaks for itself, so I'm gonna just let you sit down and relax.
drawing is done, I'm grabbing the coffee color Tombow and I'm highlighting every part of the calendar. This is followed by outlining the September title. This one is colored in as well. Now I'm numbering the days within the calendar. calendar page is done. Now onto the mood and gratitude tracker. This one was super fast to make. I started with the mood tracker. The first thing I did was color in the coffee cup. Followed by the icons of the mood tracker which goes from coffee bean, which is really bad, the two flowers for the two bitter days, the leaves for a neutral day, and then a line out branch for the uh, days. <laughs> Now it's time for the titles, starting with the mood tracker. And with some editing magic, the titles are all colored in. Now it's time to highlight every other day from the gratitude tracker and to number the days. And voila, that was it. And there it is, my September 2022 bullet journal setup. I'm so happy with how this theme turned out. It's so neutral and classic, but still very cute and fun. I hope you like my video, and if you're new here, make sure to check out my other videos and maybe like and subscribe! Comment down below if you had a good month during September. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!